Ah, you're watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the Subatec Boss four-wheel drive RC car. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got another RC car, and it's another one by Subatec. This is a Subatec Boss or Storm. It's called many other things. I'll put the full title in the description of the video. So this cost me £35, another bargain from eBay, I don't know what the retail price of these things are but for £35 this thing is truly incredible. So a bit like the first one we did, as you can see it's got underbelly, this is actually new, I've only, it's had a couple of drives, you'll see from the video at the end why it's so filthy. Um, battery, ca battery carrier here, and it runs on a 1500 7.4 battery power switch there as you can see metal drive gears it's got metal uh, metal diff nice suspension you can see what kind of suspension it and it has had some grief this thing can take a kick in you'll see from the video at the end but you'll see how nice it looks so it has Working lights, I've actually lost a grill off at some point, I'm not surprised to be honest but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, and the body does come off but it's much more difficult to take off, you've got to undo screws as well as these catches to get it off. So there's two screws here and there's various ones around the side so it's not very easy to get the body off this thing. When you want to clean it, I've cleaned it the best I can but as you can see it's had some, <laughs> it's had some grief. So. It's quite quick, I don't know what speed it is, it says it's got 40 kilometres an hour, I'm not sure if it does that, but it is quick enough. It's got a spare wheel on the back that you can actually use, it comes with a complete bag of spares, as did the other one, with some spare drives, some spare drive links, and also the remover for the wheels, the battery and a charger. The controller is quite a standard affair. Obviously it's got proportional steering and proportional throttle. You can adjust your throttle, you, sorry, you can adjust your steering so you can have it to turn very little, as you can see, or you can have it so it turns a long way. Which is quite a neat feature and it's very much better for, my young one plays this a bit so he likes it that way. And then you've got steering trim on the top. Really is a nice piece of kit this. As I say, for £35, I don't think you can go wrong. I'll try and find the seller I bought it off and put the link in eBay because I think it's an absolute bargain for 35 quid. It's a 112 scale, as you can see, it's quite large. I'm not a car master, I don't under pretend to know a lot about these RC cars. Though. I just have it for fun. It's all about the fun for me. And this is really good fun. I can go down and play with my little lad. And my wife went down, we all went down to the woods the other day and I would play with it, which is why it's so filthy. With a couple of these and a couple of boats, it's all good fun, and that's what to me our scene should be about having as much fun as possible. Now, as you probably noticed, I put a camera on here. So, on the front of this, I put the Eosheen DVR 03. But if you've ever seen one of these, fantastic, it records for the DVR in 720. So, it has an SD card slot in the side here. You can see that. You put your SD card in there, as soon as it powers up it will automatically start recording or you can use the buttons on the back to stop it entering and out of the settings. Fantastic little device, about £20 I think it costs, not even that I don't think, I got it from Banggood and I just have a cable running here from the battery at the back, I have a battery in the back I'll show you in a second. There's your camera, you can adjust your bands etc with the button on the top. It really is a fantastic piece. This camera is amazing. You'll see the quality at the end that I'm going to put up because I'm going to put the first video. You'll see at the end of this is us driving it in the woods. The second one is some FPV that I've just done outside now, just on the street, so you can see what the FPV looks like. And I have a 260 milliamp power 1S battery there. So for the truck and that and that, it comes to about 56 pound I think in total. Maybe not even. Maybe it was 54 whatever it was a real bargain so for that you can get fpv if you've ever fpv the car it's amazing that it really is amazing obviously i'm used to fpv flying 
but on the car it's something different and it's something kids can get into because it's much safer than FPV flying quads and stuff so you can just take this down to the woods smash it through the woods with the FPV with FP goggles on and have a bit of fun so I'm not going into mega details about the car I'll put a link to the car and I'll put the instructions on I'll put all the details of the car on the back on the, on the description sorry I'll have all the details of the car where you can get it from and what it actually does but it really is fantastic value. So, thanks ever so much for watching. I want to put the video up at the end. Enjoy it. You'll see we had a lot of fun with it. And you'll be amazed that if you've never seen how good one of these things is. The DBI quality. Far better than coming through goggles. I get some flying, driving and sailing done. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.